We are at Gerodri in New South Wales and um, we're on about an 800 hectare block here which is part of a 1600 hectare mixed farming enterprise which incorporates uh, lamb, beef, mainly cropping and a seed production side of a business. The Mole family are progressive farmers in the district, innovative in cropping and, and livestock. They're fourth generation farmers, um, Daniel and his brother Sterling. It was a tough year last year. We were uh, well down on our annual rainfall. They're always planning and prepared for dry seasons um, and feeding through for a period of months. Feeding's been a huge part of the, the workload the last uh, four months, I suppose it would have been. The enterprise is different in that they're spending four hours a day feeding livestock, which is a huge chunk of the day and labour. And that is trail feeding grain and feeding out some silage, especially with ewes uh, lambing at the moment. We always have a fair portion of crop that we like to get sown early, which is our dual purpose grazing crops, whether that be a cereal or a canola. It doesn't matter what year it is, we have to have a percentage of that to sort of keep the operation running and it's very important that we get that sown on time. You can get a simple feed test done so that you know the value, like your energy and the protein in your feed. We just scan our multiples off and leave our, and the singles and obviously your dries. The dries get sold and the multiples get fed a higher ration. And feed them differently, like meet their requirements um, specifically. It also helps with budgeting on feed. Underground silage is probably a thing that you've always got too that we try and keep our pits full and it's a great feed reserve. You put it away and forget about it. Um, also incorporating that with silo on-farm grain storage, which we can put away in a sealed silo or put pulses away that are gonna store for a long period of time and you've got, always got that feed in reserve. I think that preparedness has been a factor that we probably knew that we've got 18 to, months to two years food supply in front of us. I think it's years like this that probably make you stronger in a sense, in a business and a farming sense because you realise you don't value your products enough in a good year, I don't believe. So that's where I think those pits of silage or putting grain away, when you've got excess amounts, you really have to say, well, bugger it, we're not going to sell that for a price. We're going to put that away and use that because it all works in a supply and demand thing, I believe. Like You've got to be ahead of the game and be able to retain your livestock and look after them in a, in a bad year. I suppose agriculture is a challenge and it's always going to be challenges. You get your ups and downs, ebbs and flows, but it's an industry that I'm, I'm pretty, I enjoy working in. I love it. 